Welcome to Create Arts Online. I'm Keisha Devinney. In this course, I will be teaching how to create a mixed media shrine. This course is wonderful for anyone, but has been specifically curated for the beginner wanting to explore this technique. I love bringing random items together to create an art form that is unique, personal, and one of a kind. Starting with your box, which houses your story, we will begin to audition different elements such as um, fabric, paper, deconstructed vintage items, and objects found in nature. This technique of auditioning is a crucial part of moving your piece from start to finish, and it also incorporates balance, color theory, texture, and composition. I will discuss the importance of using personal items, personal meaningful items, and how they are juxtaposed throughout the process. You will watch me work in real time as I add and remove pieces while making choices that feel right to me, which is an intuitive experience. Using my formula-based process, you will, learn, you will learn how to create these shrines and no two pieces will be alike. There will be plenty of discussions as I make decisions and how my layering choices will define my project as I progress and start finalizing and then committing to each step. This process is very personal to me and I find myself getting lost while telling a story through found objects and uniting them together to form a piece of art. There is a PDF for download with, with suggested tools used, materials, and resources. Part of this process is being open to finding objects and pieces to add to your shrine. I've included a video tour discussing items I assembled from my own collection. It's important to note that most of your shrine will consist of personal items not necessarily shopped. I hope you will join me on this very narrative and intuitive journey. So let's get started. Keisha, thank you so much for coming to Create Arts Online. This course is so special, so unique, and I am so grateful you have brought it here. Well, thank you so much for having me. You have really knocked this one out of the park, and for the beginner on top of it, it's just like such a treat how you take um, the students through this process. So talk a little bit more about how what got you inspired to make these shrines. Um, well, I took a few assemblages uh, classes back in the day and really love the process. They do usually involve a lot of tools, mm -hmm. um, different types of epoxies and drill bits. And so I kind of wanted to create a simpler um, method of creating these, especially for people who don't have access to that sort of stuff. And so this is just a, a, just a little layout that I designed to make that happen. Yes, and it is exactly that. It takes all the intimidation away. And like you said in the intro, no two will ever be the same. No. But follow your formula. Right. And you'll have success. Right. And so many different things are taught, like how to knock down some things with painting and just talk a little bit more about like the process in creating this one. Well, of course, you have to gather all your goodies, which is one of the funnest parts, I think. Um, I get mine at like flea markets and thrift stores and, you know, traveling. I pick up unique things and, and just things that I really, really like that have a special meaning to me. And then it's, you know, we kind of have these things sitting around. So it's nice to bring them together and, and, and do something else with them. Besides so sticking them in a drawer. That's right. Um, and... Uh, I like telling stories with my art. I think that's very crucial, and um, this t process definitely is about telling a story, and it, uh, most of the time ends up being a, a very personal story, I've found. Well, and it's really interesting because I think your, like you said, your materials tour that you take the students on is really where the inspiration can come from because people can think, oh, I never would have thought to use that. Right, And exactly. then they can use it. And even here in Santa Barbara, a little beach walk, and she found this beautiful collection of some kind of nesty thing. Seaweed and, Se yeah. Yeah, and it's all just like how you take these individual things and see them, and that is the beauty of this course is the way you curate the way you know when it's enough the way you know how to do the balance and creating the composition is just incredible I like to open people's eyes to um, just having vision and um, thinking outside of the box about what you're looking at what you have 
Um, like I, I kept saying in the video, like this piece was off some tchotchke yeah. alone or, you know, with the tchotchke, you just wouldn't give it a second of thought, but cut off and then individualized and created for this piece, it becomes a very interesting focal point. Oh my God. And when you see it in the course, it was like this gaudy gold. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's like antiques with just a couple of paints. And yeah. your technique for painting is really special because it's not just throw some paint down. It's really special. And just really amazing like even these same bells are these bells but she's figured out how to make them look a little more vintage so taking things that are not vintage and making them vintage or having vintage items it is out there people and i tell you with her guidance you will be creating these over i can't wait to create one <laughs> and it's simple things cigar boxes little vessels big vessels you name it and is there anything else you'd want to add I don't think so. I mean, just open your eyes to potential, yeah. you know? Windows of opportunity, my favorite thing to say. It is, and and making things meaningful. Exactly, yeah, that's probably the most important part. Make yeah. it meaningful. So find all your objects, they will become meaningful, and you too will be creating with Keisha. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Yeah.